Hi everyone, this is Group 26. I will be presenting on database and data warehouse. In our work today, information technology is a paramount concept from the sophisticated business arrangement, such as the Wall Street in the United States, to the level of a roadside petty trader. Information technology has been a useful tool for sustainability. Considering the wide scope of business information system, I and my team will be discussing one segment of its scope, which is database and data warehouse. What is database? Database can be defined as the integrated collection of information that are logically related and stored in a way that it reduces duplicates and they are rapidly retrievable. We have major advantages of database, some of which are it reduces redundancy, increases security, it improves performance, and improves storage level. We have the database management system. The database management system is used to create and manage the database. We have three database architecture. We have the one-to-one, -one, the one-to-many, and the many-to-many. -many. We have the data model. The data model is a model that is used for planning the organization database. That identify what information is needed, what entities are to be created, and how they are related to each other. We have the ACID model, where the A stands for atomicity, the C stands for consistency, the I stands for isolation, and the D stands for durability. Types of database. We have centralized database, which is a database in which data is kept in a, within a single system within an organization. We have distributed database. Mm -hmm which is a database in which data is stored among several database systems within an organization. We have relational database, which is a database in which data is stored in tabular form. We have no SQL database, which is data that is stored in a, in a variety of formats other than tabular form. We have cloud database, which is a database in which data is stored in a virtual environment. We have object-oriented database, which is a database in which data is stored using an object-based data model approach. We have hierarchical database. This is a database in which data is kept in a tree-like pattern re represented as nodes, which we display a parent-child relationship. And, and finally, we have network database which is a database in which data is represented as a network of nodes that are linked together. What is Data Warehouse? Data Warehouse is a central repository of information that is analyzed for further decision making. What do we mean by that? Diverse, uh, diverse departments in the organizations, such as the human resource, such as the finance function, such as the research and development, all these departments collect information. They have their own personal information. But all this information are kept in a, in a storeroom called Data Warehouse in order to fast track to enhance further decision making in the organization. Now, how does database work? Data flows into data warehouse from relational database and also transactional system. And there are also other sources through which data flows into the database in a systematic and regular creating. Flows into the data warehouse from different sources. One of them is transactional data system, and another is relational database, and other sources. This information flows in in a regular cadence. Also, it is worthy of note that data warehouse is a collection of databases. What do we mean by that? That is, database. Each each data warehouse is a compendium of databases. Also, databases are sorted into columns and fields. And each column contains information, data descriptions of what the information really entails. This of database. Database, firstly, is needed in six effectiveness campaign. What do we mean by that? The record that has been kept in the past are further analyzed and in order to enhance the decisions that have been made out there in the sales world. Number two is team performance evaluation. Performance evaluation is very fundamental in any organization. The human resource department can easily go into the data warehouse, sort out for information of the employees, and analyze it in such a way 
that they could make effective and accurate performance evaluation for merging data from legacy system and number five analyzing large screen data so we have types of data warehouse we have two types actually which are cloud-based data warehouse and then the on-premises data warehouse cloud-based data warehouse which is a form of data warehouse whereby um, data are stored remotely on a vendor space as a form of data warehouse it has its own benefit and then its own weaknesses then we have the benefit the benefits which includes the um, in-demand scalability then we have the uh, cost efficiency of the storage space and then the system uptime and availability. Then we have the weaknesses, few weaknesses, few challenges which includes um, the issue of data integration, the issue of data security and then the issue of data latency. So moving on to the on-premises data warehouse. On-premises data warehouse is a form of data warehouse whereby the organization decides to purchase, install, manage and control the data, the hardware and software facility of its um of the organization itself the form of data warehouse it has some um, three layers of data architecture we have the bottom tier the middle in the middle tiers and then the top tiers so as a form of data warehouse you are aware that it will, have, it will surely have its own advantages and disadvantages advantages which includes the absolute control on the technology the organization technology then we have the um, high speed and maintenance of the data then we have the third one which is compliance with um, government policy and technical standards and then one major disadvantage of running this kind of data warehouse is that sometimes the, the organization might be unable to manage the overwhelming inflow and outflow of data um, in an organization so we have the ETL process ETL which basically means extract transform and um, load process as a form of data process Data are expected to be extracted in their raw form, transformed into a particular form before they are loaded into the data warehouse. Some of data is suitable for the on-premises data warehouse because of its hardware limitation, which enables the system to run data, data analytics during the period the process is being performed. Differences between database and data warehouse. Database is a collection of related data that represents some elements of the outside world. Why data warehouse is an information system that stores historical and commutative data from single or multiple sources. Number two, database uses online transactional processing. Why data warehouse uses online analytical processing? Number three, database tables and joints are complicated because they are normalized. Why data warehouse tables and joints are complicated because they are denormalized? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.